So what happens in Act 5 of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Let's find out. How's it going, Revision Squad? It's me, Liam, aka Mr. Knight, aka Dystopia Junkie. And in this video, I will be summarising what happens in Act 5 of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, which means that this video sees my summary of Shakespeare's play come to an end. Don't worry though, there will be plenty of more Romeo and Juliet videos coming up soon. Now, I really do hope that this video helps you out as you are studying or revising this play. If it does, you can let me know by giving it a like, writing a comment on it, sharing the video with anyone else who might find it helpful, and of course, subscribing to my channel if you aren't already. Any of those things would mean absolutely loads, so thank you so much in advance. All right, so Act 5, Scene 1 begins with Romeo in Mantua, the place he has gone in his exile. He is awaiting news, any news, about Juliet. Romeo's servant, Balthazar, then turns up, and he tells Romeo that Juliet is dead. Clearly, he doesn't know about the plan, and so he has been fooled just like everybody else. Now, Romeo's emotions run wild, and he rather quickly makes up his own plan. Romeo decides to buy some poison from the local apothecary, which is a word for a shop that sells various medicines and potions, as well as the person who actually runs that shop, and go to the place where Juliet is buried, and then poison himself next to her, so he will be reunited with her forever in death. So, Romeo goes to find the apothecary, who, it turns out, is quite poor. Romeo takes advantage of their poverty and persuades them to sell him some deadly poison, even though doing so is strictly forbidden. Meanwhile, Act 5, Scene 2 takes place over at Friar Lawrence's cell. Here, Friar John, who is one of Friar Lawrence's fellow friars, and the person Friar Lawrence tasked with delivering the plan containing a letter to Romeo, explains that Romeo never actually got the letter. Now the reason for this, it turns out, is because Friar John was prevented from leaving Verona as he was placed under quarantine, because the authorities feared that he might have caught a deadly illness. In response, Friar Lawrence decides to go to Juliet's tomb. That way, he can wait for her to wake up, and then help her to go and meet Romeo. It's really clear that he wants to get them back together, I think. Act 5, Scene 3, the play's final scene, takes place later that night, out in the graveyard in which the Capulet tomb is housed. The scene opens with Paris, and he is mourning for Juliet. As he is mourning, he receives a warning from his servant that somebody is approaching, and as such, Paris hides. But just who was that approaching person? Well, of course, it was Romeo. Balthazar is with him again, and Romeo tells him that he's only really there to see Juliet one last time, and to take the ring he gave her. This, we know, is a big old lie. Romeo sends Balthazar away, and once alone, Romeo's true feelings, sadness and anger, come out. Moments later, Paris sees Romeo enter the tomb and decides to confront him. They fight. Romeo kills Paris, although he isn't quite thinking straight, and so he doesn't realise this immediately. Paris's servant sees exactly what happens, though, and runs off to the authorities. There in the tomb, Romeo sees the apparently dead Juliet, says how happy he is to see her, and comments on how beautiful she is, even in death. And there, by Juliet's side, Romeo drinks the poison he bought from the apothecary, and dies. After Romeo dies, Friar Lawrence turns up. 
He notices the blurs, weapons and dead bodies and is quite distressed by what he has seen. But here's the thing, Friar Lawrence doesn't have enough time to stress out about all of that because at that very moment, Juliet wakes up. Flustered, knowing that Juliet cannot now be found alive, Friar Lawrence quickly suggests that he will take her and hide her in a nunnery. Before the plan can be developed much more, Friar Lawrence hears people approaching the tomb and runs away. With the friar gone, Juliet sees that Romeo is dead, and she also notices that he has killed himself by drinking poison. And so, desperate to die if she cannot be alive with Romeo, Juliet kisses her now dead husband, hoping that there might still be enough poison on his lips to kill her too. However, there doesn't seem to be enough poison, as Juliet does not die from kissing Romeo. Guards are heard approaching the tomb, and so Juliet quickly takes Romeo's dagger and kills herself before they fully enter the tomb. But they do enter, and they see what has happened, and they bring Friar Lawrence back to the tomb. Then, at various intervals, Prince Aeschylus, Lord and Lady Capulet, and Lord Montague all enter the tomb as well. Lord Montague says that his wife has died from grief, which could be metaphorical or literal, which explains why she isn't there at the tomb as well. Now, of course, everyone sees the dead lovers, and Paris too, and are sad in various ways. Friar Lawrence explains absolutely everything that has happened, and Romeo's servant, Balthazar, who is back again, supports the friar's story by providing a letter Romeo had written whilst in Mantua as evidence. Following that, Prince Aeschylus tells the parents that they have all, and he includes himself in this, been punished for the parts that they have played in the feud. The Capulets have lost Juliet and Tybalt, Lord Montague has lost Romeo and possibly his wife as well, and even the Prince has lost Paris and Mercutio. Right at the very end of the play, the parents vow to make statues in honour of the other family's child. And with Romeo and Juliet both dead, that is the end of the play. I hope you found this video to be informative and useful and that you feel more confident when it comes to studying and revising Shakespeare's play as a result. If you have made it this far, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, as always, that I hope that you have an awesome rest of the day. If you are revising, please do take frequent short breaks, as a burned out student is not a happy or successful student, which is what I think you, yeah you, deserve to be. So what did happen in Act 5 of Romeo and Juliet? Well, as much as I wish I could sit here and tell you that Romeo and Juliet are reunited and they live happily ever after, that simply is not the case, as they both tragically die, as the prologue in Act 1 warned us.